So we are at uh, Parallel Polite Hackerspace and uh, in this video I will show you how to unbox and install the BATM3 XL model. So this is the first location when the, where the BATM3 is going to be deployed and this is how the ATM looks when it's delivered uh, by road in Europe. It's uh, in a paper box. So in the first step, we removed uh, the plastic cover, which uh, protects the machine from the rain during the transportation. And uh, if you receive the machine by sea or by air, the machine is going to be in the wooden box. Um, on the top uh, box, you can see below the uh, umbrella pictogram, there is a serial number and the fiat currency for which the machine is configured. So in next step, we will remove the paper box. So after I removed the inner plastic, which protects the machine from the scratches, uh, I, and also when I obtained this key from the topper box, which the key is put on the top of that box, and this key is from the bottom of the machine where you find the additional components, uh, which I will show you in next uh, step. This is what you find uh, in the lower part of the ATM. Uh, the power cable for your country, uh, servicing tools for using the female screws, printer paper, all the keys, and if you have the ATM XL model, you will find also faceplate for build dispenser. When you power up the machine, machine will start with the following uh, error message, which is saying uh, no internet. So I'll go ahead uh, and enter the administration to set up the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, please note that first I have to click on the error icon, and then I can scan the administration default administration QR code. So after setting up the Wi-Fi, the machine should connect to the default uh, factory server and it should uh, show the, the default menu, the exchange rate in the uh, correct currency. And now I'm going to replace the paper in the printer. The uh, machine should be powered up during the replacement of the paper. So first I need to lose Use the uh, screw on on this side a little bit more. Now I can take uh, take out this cover for the paper. <laughs> now I can place the paper inside. In order to configure cassettes and drums, we need to first uh, take out the cash box from the recycler. <coughs> then we enter the administration and we click on cash boxes 
Uh, let's first uh, enable the recycler cache boxes. Now we need to enter insert the cache box into the recycler again. Tag. And we will configure it, let's say, 2000s and 500s into the recycler. And we should sh see this information, so it means that it got configured. Now we set up the dispenser. So we have there uh, check crowns, uh, 200s, and also check crowns, 1000s. Here we have 100 pieces. And here we have 15 pieces. Okay. Again, it's got set on the server. Connecting machine to the internet with uh, Ethernet cable consists of three steps. First is to disable Wi-Fi and enable the Ethernet in uh, machine's administration. Second step is to take the cable through the machine's body. And third step is to take out the cover from the computer and connect it to the computer. First, we enter the administration with the administration code. We go to the Wi Fi setup. We disable the Wi Fi connection. We enable the Ethernet and we exit the administration. Now we open, up, open the machine. And uh, we, will have to make, we will have to take out the cover for the cable hole. Remove cover for Ethernet cable hole. Uh, you want to key uh, number 5.5 .5, and you unscrew these two covers. And then you flip the cover the other way around. Generally, the cover for the Ethernet hole was in this position. After you insert the cable, you put it in this position. And you put again the screw females uh, back. Please uh, make sure that you don't that you don't lose these screws or, they, or make sure that they don't fall into the build dispenser because otherwise uh, it will be very hard to take it out from the build dispenser and build dispenser can get damaged. So after putting the faceplate uh, back, it should look like this. And the cable goes through here. And uh, here it goes under this computer which you unscrew. Discover you unscrew with, uh, with this tool here and on the other side too. In order to mount build dispenser faceplate, I have to first remove this cover with uh, number 7. And I have to take all of these uh, female screws out. So in second step, uh, we take out this uh, cover foil and we mount this uh, wings, uh, but we don't tighten it, we, we leave it uh, loose. In this step, we will like try to mount the faceplate. We will just uh, put this here and Okay, so we measure all the the fitting. We tied the screw females by hand, and uh, now I take it out, tie those uh, side screw females, and I put it there back and mount those four. So this is how the faceplate should should look like uh, when it's mounted. And, and the next step is to to configure the dispense unit, which will be in another video.
to configure the build dispenser, we have to take out the cassettes and fill them with the cache. And also, we need to uh, make place in the ratchet ratchet cassettes. We have to take out this uh, this stuff thing inside. This is the procedure how to configure the cassettes for for the denomination. So first, you make the place in the cassettes. You try to place the banknote inside, and based based on that, you will uh, you will have to change the length with this screw and uh, the width with these two screws. I recommend you to put the lower denomination into the upper cassette and the higher denomination into the lower cassette. 